early in life, everything is investing in two of these things. Growth and maintenance of the soma, maintenance of their body unrelated to reproduction. Usually, at a very young age, not very much in reproduction. That's the third place where you might put your energy. At some point, you either stop investing in growth or you greatly reduce your investment in growth. And you can do that sooner or later. If you do it later, there's a big benefit. You get bigger, which means you can either have bigger babies or you can have more of them. And the trade-off to getting really big is it takes a while and it takes a lot of energy. And if you can't find that energy or if you're likely to get killed by something, well, you end up dying without passing on your genes for, hey, let's wait a while before we stop investing in growth and start investing in reproduction. And all those individuals that started a lot sooner are the ones that actually pass on their genes to the next generation. So when it comes to what genes are present in the future, it's the ones that managed to get themselves reproduced in the past. If it takes a lot less energy to get large enough where you start breeding, well, hey, your genes make it. And it was coded in your genes to do that, to start reproducing younger. The ones that had it coded in their genes to wait longer didn't pass their genes on. And generation after generation after generation, this continues to be true and you're not paying the cost of not getting big because there's no large predators on small islands. The smaller its genetics are, the more likely it is that it's going to be able to find enough to stay alive and reproduce